Most components of the NetSeq 1000-2000 Raging cartridge can be recycled, depending on your local solid waste recycling guides. Check with your local solid waste recycler or your municipality's specific instructions for recycling of these plastic parts. Follow the steps shown in this video to disassemble the Raging cartridge for recycling. Here is a diagram of the components of the Raging cartridge. Part G, the Raging well plate, is not recyclable and may contain unused reagents after a run. To disassemble the cartridge. When disassembling the cartridge, make sure that the cartridge is first drained. You will need the recycling tool fixture, which includes a punch tool attached at the top. You will also need a small flathead screwdriver, which is not included with the tool. Remove the punch tool from the base of the fixture. Rest the cartridge on top of the fixture's pry bars, aligning the cartridge with the two rear pry bars. It is not necessary to push the cartridge down. Next, position the wider edge of the recycling tool fixture parallel to the bench top. Align the punch tool with the label on the top of the cartridge. Using heavy force, press down quickly on the punch tool to separate the cartridge shell. If not enough force is applied, the cartridge shell might not separate completely. If the cartridge shell is only partially separated, remove the cartridge from the fixture, close the shell, and then apply additional force with the punch tool. Remove the piercer from the cartridge. Remove the cover from the forward rotor valve assembly. To remove the flow cell shell, insert a flathead screwdriver between the flow cell shell and lower assembly, and then lift. Or alternatively, pull the flow cell shell off the lower assembly. To remove the reagent well plate from the lower assembly, disconnect one snap on one side of the lower assembly and then remove the reagent well plate. Disconnect both snaps on the flow cell tray and then remove the flow cell tray. Remove the metal spring from the flow cell tray and discard. Disconnect the four snaps on the valve assembly by pushing the snaps down and away from the reagent well plate edge. Remove the valve assembly by pulling the underside of the assembly. The reagent plate is not recyclable. Dispose of the reagent well plate, which may contain unused reagents, in accordance with the applicable standards for your region.